This is a case A, menus 1 through 12. It is from the 260 second it is from the 260 second day of 1996. Let's get this open and see what's inside. These do have flameless ration heaters. Let's get that case open. Now we have menu one, beef steak. Menu two, tuna with noodles. Menu three, chicken stew. No number four, spaghetti with meat sauce. Number six, frankfurter's beef. Menu seven, beef stew. Menu eight, chicken and rice. Number nine, pork chow mein. Number 10, chili and macaroni. Menu 11, pasta with vegetables. Number 12, cheese tortellini. So there are actually two menu number one beefsteaks instead of a number four. The band was actually just opened by Tracy Phillips today, so this is an interesting occurrence. All right, let's go hey check there, out Wanderers. the meal. This is Wandering Marine Veteran, and I am with Tracy Phillips. All right, and so today we're going to be reviewing an MRE of his. He actually got this case. We chose the menu one beef steak. Now we're gonna open it and see what's inside. Yeah, you gotta dig your thumbs in there for that peel of here. Wow, this is in good condition. So these Tabascos actually tell you a lot about the condition of the storage. So there's something to look at. We have some information here. Military rations are good performance meals. And you have some information here. You can pause that if you want. Nutrition, a force multiplier. The main meal is a beef steak, Mexican style rice, crackers, Tootsie Rolls, all right. Well, actually, they probably call them caramel. Yeah. So we got two caramels or tootsie rolls. We think it's not actually labeled. Peanut butter. Spoon. Beverage. And flies. Beverage base powder, cherry flavor. Flameless ration heater. You want to open this? Alright. In our accessory package, we have Tabasco. Taster's Choice Original Blend. A six gram package of sugar. Some iodized salt. Some non dairy creamer for coffee or tea. The standard issue, whatever you want to use that for. A moist towelette that I've never seen before. White tip matches and two pieces First we're of We're going to get the main started. Chunk and form thermos, thermal stabled char marked. All right. Grilled beef steak. All right, we're gonna get these two mains started with some water. There's a fill line out there. Get this in. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna lean it against something, and if you're not in a very well ventilated area, you might want to do this outside. Test one of these matches. These are actually purple. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Wow, that one uh, went really fast. A trick that I learned from someone years ago, because you might catch your fingers on fire, but close the cover, stick it on the little striker tip, give it a pull. It actually went out very fast. It's yeah. a, kind of interesting.
Um, right. So now we have our coffee. Wow, this coffee feels, this is not clumpy at all. There's no, there's nothing wrong with this. I think it's, I'm actually going to drink this one. What about you? You think you're going you're oh, to actually drink it? I want to look at it first. <laughs> all right. We can probably drink it. Nope, no coffee. I don't think I want to try that. I think that's mold. Yeah, so that's mold on the coffee. You see the white? Never mind on that. We can still see the creamer. It looks fine. What do you think it smells like? What's your opinion? Oh, is that that palm kernel? Oh, so I think that's that a, smells kind of like cocoa. I mean, uh, cocoa soda. Yeah, I think it's a palm kernel. I see on there. Yeah. It's my coconut palm kernel. Oh, coconut soy, palm kernel. Oh, Soybean. Right yeah, it does smell kind of like hot chocolate to me. It might still be okay, but uh, we don't have coffee, and it's very risky. So he has coffee without any additives and I have with. Stir it up and see what it looks like. He's going to drink it. Oh, oh, I'm not. He's the guest. He gets to go first. Uh, I think I'll pass. I think, thank you for the offer. I think the coffee dissolved and the mold stayed on top. The one on the right is with creamer and sugar. The other one is just the coffee. Now, it is cold, so it didn't fully mix in, as you don't typically have anything to heat the drink with in the field. We're gonna try the beverage base, potentially. We'll see. There's no tear notch on this one. This smells like cherry flavored. Uh, it, def it definitely smells artificial. It's got a lot of sugar in here. It does smell artificial, but hopefully it tastes as good as it smells, really. It smells fairly delicious. It says they had 12 ounces of water. There's no mold in there, so that's a good thing. Seemed to mix up pretty well. I wish us luck. Tastes good? Yeah, it tastes good. Kind of like a cherry popsicle. Not bad. Let's try this cracker. I heard a hiss. Has a nice baked smell to it. Definitely smells doughy. Doesn't really smell stale. Doesn't smell stale to me either. It smells fine. Got some Tootsie Rolls. Yes, they are indeed Tootsie Rolls. Did you want to try one? Yeah, we can try one. Think so? Alright. At least here I heard it never go bad. So it's melted to it. Yeah, I've been from, sitting uh, out here in the sun. Sitting out uh, in the sun. Which also lets me know that if anyone ever let it sit out in the sun in over 20 years, that it has melted before. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Tastes just like a Tootsie Roll should. Yep, tastes like a good Tootsie Roll. This is boring. Wow, this is boring. Then lost its texture. It's bubbling. This is some bubbles on it. Are you gonna actually try the cracker and peanut butter? Oh, I wanna at least. I'll try a nibble of it. it smells like peanut butter. It tastes kind of like an old stale, rich cracker. Yeah, it tastes peanut butter cracker. It tastes stale, but not overly stale, actually. No, this that actually kinda, really tastes good. It might have been just the sun shining. We also got some salt. Salt doesn't really do anything, so let's just look at it. Salt, salt. 
We're trying out the gub now. So it still has the same flavor. It's maybe a bit crunchy. Yeah, it doesn't taste like it's really old at all. Tabasco as well. Let's try out the meat. A bit funny thing about this is that for the rice, the rice is actually above the tear notch. So that doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to pack it down and now I'll try it. it. Smells fine. Yeah, it does smell good. Actually, it smells better than it kind of looks like. Um, and this would have been really good with the Tabasco sauce. Spicy smell to it. It's got a lot of vegetables. It's got corn in it. I think I'm getting the better part a little bit, but not quite as dry down at the bottom. The flamish ration here did work pretty good, but it's pretty hot. I'm going to try some of the Mexican rice. Mind you, this is from when I was just a little kid, and I'm eating it. It's crazy. Tastes fine. Yeah, it tastes good. Seasoned pretty well for what it is. A bit stiff, but you could probably even hydrate it more. Corn and the peppers. Let's try some corn out. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not going to eat anymore, just uh, for safety. But it tastes fine. Let's try this out. Grilled beef steak. And it smells kind of like a Charbroiled hamburger. Doesn't smell its age at all. Just uh, one solid piece with a little bit of liquid. All right, now we're gonna try the beef steak. See how it held up over the years. It's got some nice char marks on there. It's very good. Not too bad. It tastes kind of like, kind of like a piece of rope. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you next.